could uh, solar energy be uh, in this country without my taxpayer dollars helping it? Well, the industry would certainly be much smaller without the uh, uh, help of, of American taxpayers and, uh, and utility customers. So we have a power grid right now, and, and we've heard about this ad nauseum from the folks in Washington, D.C., who uh, seem to do nothing about it. Some will talk about it, admit that it's vulnerable to an uh, electromagnetic pulse, among other things, right? So we, we have this vulnerability, yes. uh, yet our taxpayer dollars are being spent on subsidizing a, a failing industry, if you will. Yes, absolutely. And the, uh, the left will often complain about the way that um, the coal and nuclear and natural gas industries uh, are subsidized. And it's true, they are subsidized. However, uh, it's just a mere fraction of what the solar industry receives. The bottom line is uh, a solar wind, I think you could throw in there as well, but, but solar uh, has just not matured enough where it can stand on its own two feet on its own without government help? Not at utility scale. Uh, there are uses for it. Um, we're certainly not opposed at Americans for Limited Government Foundation uh, to solar energy in general, uh, but it's, it's not ready for prime time in terms of uh, generating the amount of power that millions of customers all across the country need. But a lot of people don't realize, Richard, but you understand this, and maybe you can explain it a little bit, that it's not just about solar panels on somebody's roof or, or maybe in a, in a field somewhere in Nevada soaking up the sunshine. Uh, there are other costs associated with solar energy um, that also drive up the cost and, of course, end up spending our taxpayer dollars. Yes, absolutely. Well, in addition to the very generous federal subsidies, uh, you also have state mandates which require that utility companies uh, produce a certain percentage of their electricity from renewable resources uh, such as solar. Um, and then in many states, there are also requirements that utility companies purchase excess solar energy from their solar customers who have solar panels on their roofs. But because it's not exactly stable, uh, there also have to be backup power sources, correct? Backup power plants. Absolutely. Of course, there always has to be uh, backup power with any uh, generating system, but it, it's much, uh, th those requirements are much greater with solar because it's so intermittent. I want to talk about a University of Texas at Austin study that was a real eye-opener. Uh, this was commissioned a couple of years ago, 2016. You look at coal, oil, natural gas, and nuclear, all subsidized by the federal government, but all yes. under $1.50 per megawatt hour. And then you get to wind, and it's over $12 subsidy per megawatt hour solar, $61 and some change per megawatt hour. Uh, this is clearly a boondoggle uh, on behalf of the United States yes. taxpayer. Absolutely. And as I said, it, it only gets worse uh, when you look at what the states are doing to further prop up the inter industry. You would think that the very generous federal subsidies would be sufficient, but unfortunately, apparently they're not. So in other words, are we saying essentially that, that solar energy is not scalable on, on a mass scale, as you said, for the power grid, but possibly uh, on smaller uh, duties? Sure. Um, for example, if you have a, um, a cabin in the woods far off the grid, uh, it could be a perfect source of electricity for you, uh, where running uh, transmission lines out into the middle of the wilderness uh, could be cost prohibitive. Solar panels could be fantastic uh, with battery backup. Um, it's, it's just uh, once you get to the utility scale uh, level that it's really a terrible deal for, for ratepayers and for taxpayers. All right, so you, you heard that California is going to go green and they're going to rely uh, primarily on solar to do so 30 years from now. Do you think 30 years from now, three decades from now, a little bit more than that, uh, there will be a viable version of solar or if we hit a wall? Well, solar panels have definitely been improving over time. Um, the, the technology does keep improving, and so who knows what the future holds. Um, my main point is it's just not ready at the current time. Zero subsidies, zero mandates. Uh, that should be the goal of an industry like this. Sure, you can help it start out a little bit, but at some point you've got to back off the government intervention on behalf of the American people. Richard, thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. 
Call and subscribe today.